and Ted Keller, too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to you! It's what's for dinner. At least, that is what is on the menu when it comes to tonight's presentation. Welcome to Shares Creature Features. I'm your host and maitre d', Vincent Van Dahl. Serving you at your table tonight will be our head waiter and sommelier, the polite and attentive Mr. Livingston. And preparing your meal for you tonight will be our executive chef, the lovely Miss Tangela. And have we a scrumptious meal in store for you. This entire concept is completely ludicrous. First up, our main course for the evening will be a delicious film from 1966 entitled The Undertaker and His Pals. This nutritiously delightful movie revolves around the tale of an undertaker, a restaurant owner, and assassins for hire who create a tasty triangle of death for profit where unsuspecting patrons of a greasy spoon diner unwittingly consume sebaceous casseroles comprised entirely of human flesh. While this might sound like an ominously horrifying supper, luckily it is served with a large dollop of humor, so it's unlikely to frighten even the most nervous amongst you. You know if she finally captures him, she fully intends to prepare him. I wouldn't concern yourself with that. We haven't a stock pot nor an oven large enough to contain Andrew. And for dessert, we'll have with us as our special guest, Steve Zetro Souza. You'll remember Zetro from his many appearances on our program, the fact that he sings our opening theme song, and also that he so happens to be the lead singer and frontman for the heavy metal musical troupe Exodus. He'll show us photos of his newly remodeled Harley Davidson motorcycle that was custom painted with a horror film motif. He'll also tell us about his new Exodus album arriving this fall titled Persona Non Grata and he'll fill us in on the details of the obligatory world tour. All this while he tells us what he likes so much about this film that made him choose it for tonight's show over other options. So don't go away for this to be another culinary night of cannibalistic delight right here on Creature Features. You were saying... You know, maybe she plans to prepare him sushi style. Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by... The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. It is Creature Feature time, and no, it is Zetro time tonight, right? It is Zetro Because we've got tonight. Zetro on tonight, yeah. very, an actual rock star on our show. You don't get too many of you, you know? Yeah, you do. You get a few. Yeah. Not, not good ones like you who are still making albums. And, and did the theme song to your show. And did the theme song for the show. You know, you did that between gigs. Yes. Right? Between albums. Yes. Which... Between, between tours, actually. Between tours, yeah. between albums, and between... Trips to the supermarket. Yeah, right? just in between. Right. No, no, no. He knocked it out in one weekend. You've heard the song before. We play at the beginning of the show every week. You've heard this song, maybe. Some people skip through it. 
Really? But we do not provide that skip the intro button that you see on Netflix. No, I use that every time I watch Star Trek The Next Generation. I skip the intro because it's... Uh, I don't know. Well, you know it. It. I've heard this you song know, before. Right, exactly. This song, we force people to listen to. Anyway, Steve is the singer for Exodus, and uh, you do other things as well. We're going to talk about those things too. However, you've got a new album coming out. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Maybe we're going to hear a part of it. Maybe. Maybe. And uh, we're going to watch The Undertaker and His Pals. Now, of course, you've seen this film. Yes, I love this film. And you love this film. And we gave him a choice of three films. No, two films? Or I think three? it was two. Two? What was the other yeah. one? Legacy of Blood, right? Oh, I didn't like that one either. No, that was a good choice. This was, this was, yeah. this was, no. uh, I love the quirky campy. And this campy. is, this is uh, an interesting copy we have as well. So uh, we're going to watch that. We're going to talk about your stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, we're going to talk about uh, Tangela's shoes, maybe. Cool. She's got new I'm shoes. here. You got me. All right. Off we go to The Undertaker and his pals. Don't you dare go away or I'll be sad.
goes by that someday you are going to die. There's never been a devil like me. Here about. Lovely lion there, doesn't she? I painted her myself. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? <laughs> Life is but a shadow through which we all must pass to reach that bright tomorrow. Yes, but she's so young. Why did you come to the city? Why couldn't you stay home with your mommy? <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's go home, Mother. Wait, let me kiss my baby. Oh. Uh, Mr. Lamb, may I talk to you a moment alone, sir? Yes. <laughs> I've always found it best to give my bill at this time. It helps take your mind off your bereavement. Grief therapy, as we call it in the industry. $1,250. Well, it's not our best funeral, but I... $1,250. See, you've forgotten your grief already. You, you advertised $144.98, not $1,250. But, Mr. Lamb, you don't expect to get a funeral like that for nothing. Why, the silk in that box is worth at least $144. And then there's the hearse, and then there's the flowers. Now, the flowers are a big item, and then the... I won't pay any $1,250. Oh, yes, you will, sir. You signed a contract. Or at least your wife did. Didn't you, Mrs. Lamb? You're both horrible to talk about money at a time like this. I earned my money, Mrs. Lamb. That girl of yours had her legs chopped off. How would you like to have to sew plastic legs on a cold corpse? Of course, I could have skipped the legs and uh, given her a junior-length coffin. <laughs> that would have been more economical, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And her throat. If you could have seen her throat. <laughs> oh. You'll pay. You'll pay. Hello, Creature Feature friends! We just wanted to remind you that there are many methods to enjoy our dreaded little program. While most of you are likely watching from one of the numerous television stations that carry our show, and others are watching us on YouTube, there are other ways to watch as well. Frankly, I'm sure most of them have seen quite enough of this show. Shush! Some of you might already be aware that we have custom Creature Features apps for all the major set-top boxes. These are wonderful little devices that allow you to enjoy all kinds of free entertainment on your television set. We have an app for the Roku device, the Apple TV box, and for the wonderful Fire TV stick sold by Amazon. 
We've put a lot of work into developing these apps and we think you'll be surprised at what a wonderful method this is to watch our show. It's almost like watching Netflix, but it's all creature features all the time. And the image quality of the playback is incredible. It's perfect, just the way we want you to see our episodes. So if you have one of these amazing devices, go into their app store and download the Creature Features app. And if you don't have one, consider getting one soon. You'll love it. You also make this one quite happy. Back to the show, we are watching The Undertaker and his pals, 1966, and we're watching it with Zetro from Exodus. So, this Undertaker, you know, he reminds me of Colonel Clink. Yeah, you were saying that as we were watching it. I like the dismemberment not. parts. That's the best part. Which one? When the dismembering of the body parts. You know, it's, it's, it's done in a comical way. That's why I love it. It's yeah. so campy and quirky. I mean, Good if this movie. was an actual medical, scientific, surgical film, I believe it would be much more bloody and disgusting. But uh, this way, you know, this is like a rated G version of decapitation and cannibalism. Is it not? Yeah, but that's basically when we grew up, that's how horror was. You used your imagination for what it really was. Which I was. think is better. Exactly. No, it's much better this way. Now it's like, you know, they have special cameras where they can get right down to the molecular level and show you all the blood cells. Who wants to see this? Right? I mean, that's too much detail. It's, it's no imagination there. Right. Anyway, so we're going to get back to this movie in a moment, but uh, I want to talk about this new album of yours. Yeah, first one in, um, uh, since 2014. 2000, blood in, the blood out. It's been a that's while, like almost seven years. Seven years. Yeah, Persona Non Grata. Why, why would you wait so long to do an album? Oh, there's so many um, tangibles that go along with this but uh, well, you know I was in the business I know about these tangibles <laughs> however I also do know that the longer you wait the longer you wait for a paycheck as well well we've been very fortunate to been able to tour for almost six years off of blood in blood out and the history of exodus you know being able to play you know other you know albums bonded by blood right. fabulous disaster temple of the damned so people still like to hear those so there's always something to do always something to do right. exactly right. but now there's some new fresh music ready now, well, to now you're gonna the make world. the big money i mean going so, on tours and doing shows that's fun and schlocking merch but now you're gonna make some some big money we'll see you know we'll i think i think you should buy a yacht no can i park it here in in bodega bay you, you should park it here in bodega bay no, no, no. We'll make it a pirate yacht, and we'll call it the Sea Hag. I love that. The Sea Hag, and it'll be like a metal yacht, literally made it's from metal. It's got to be painted black, right? That plays, of course. It's got to be black. And Skulls be and, black. and, and yeah. spiders. And Jolly combos. Roger. We'll yeah. fly the better Jolly than, Roger. Better than the yeah. Jolly Roger, something more All ruthless. Right. Back to the album. So uh, you were in the studio for how long? Uh, about eight weeks. Eight weeks. About eight. But it wasn't it wasn't like a studio. We went to Lake Almanor, where our drummer lives, and we kind of rented like this big kind of cool rock star house, right. and we recorded it in his kind of garage man cave, and we brought all the gear. We flew all the gear in. The, oh my goodness, the engineer, so you built so a studio. Basically built a studio in there. And album. it was much more comfortable because there was no distractions of having to park your car, go in. It was the five of us up no, there doing I, the record. I, no, I completely great. agree. Most studios stink. Yeah, it's just... No, they literally stink. Well, it's like work, too, but this was, like, better to go. It was a relaxed environment. We worked at our speed. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, we got to hurry up because there's another band coming in, or we have, right. we're on a time schedule, and this album has yeah. to be done and by... And you're out in the country, time. so you don't have to worry about a, a lorry passing by and mm, so, ruining a tape. Exactly. All so right. we were fine. We're going to talk some more about this in a minute, but first we're going to get back to The Undertaker and his pals because they're waiting for us, and everyone's getting impatient about this movie. So uh, stick around. You guys stick around, and uh, we're going to start the film right about now. Back my new 
dress? Yeah, yeah. And my hair, do you like it better up? Yes, it's very nice. Harry, will you turn around and look at me? Come on, honey. Got lots of work. Come on. Harry. What? Why won't you marry me? <laughs> Honey, I can't even afford me. But I'm going to jump out the window if you won't marry me. Hey, Employment Bureau, uh, would you uh, please send me over a new secretary? Yeah, I have one that's about ready to leave. Thank you. I hate you, Harry Glass. Great little business around here. You know, it'd do a lot of good in this place. A white tornado. You watch too much television. You have any better idea? Mm -hmm. Uh, Spike, Doc, anybody around? Oh, hiya, Mr. Glass. Spike will be with you in a minute. That's what I like about this place. The service. Don't pay attention to Doc. His mind is elsewhere. Buried in those books they say he's always reading. There's nothing wrong with studying. According to the grapevine, he was kicked out of medical school because he was very, very weird. If you ask me what I think... I ask you what? What's Duncan Hines recommend in this food palace? Specialty of the day. Lamb. You'll like it, baby. My friends call me Anne. You may call me Miss Poultry. Poultry? As in barnyard? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. Okay, chicken. I'll have a specialty spike. Give me two orders. Two orders of what? You didn't even tell him what we were ordering. We don't have anything else. Hey, uh, you read about that new murder? No, Sally Lamb? Yeah, yeah, that's a shame, real shame. I wonder if that was her father who came in the office today. I like to read things like that. Paper shouldn't print that stuff. Two specials, lamb's leg. What's the drink? I'll have coffee. I'll have a BM. Buttermilk. <laughs> hey, Spike, what is this? Lamb. That's not lamb. Taste it again. No, oh, baby. You taste it. Come on, honey. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry I brought you here. This joint would give Mr. Clean nightmare. Aw, oh, chicken. You give the place a bad name. You think so? Wait till I call the health inspectors. You wouldn't do that. Oh, no, wouldn't I? Later, later. Good night. Miss Poultry.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome back to Creature Feature. Steve stepped away for a moment. Do you know why? He had to take care of business. No, I think he had to go compose. Or perhaps decompose. I don't know. But uh, anyways, we got this one back, and she's, she's soiled. My yeah. goodness. In and hemoglobin, it looks poor like. Poor Andrew is at the 24-hour emergency center because what, you, what did you lop off that poor lad this time? He needed Terrible. some stitches. No. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I think, I think we should send her away and then make her come back. We'll have to hide her when the police arrive. Right, right. Those warrants. Anyways, uh, it's time to read some mail. So we're going to read some mail from you because you sent it to us and we read it. And it's a big circle that goes round and round and round. Right, Mr. Livingston? Indeed. What's it's a package this? from Indiana. Indiana. This is from Carol Wade. You know, I think Carol is one of the ones on YouTube. No, mm. she's, I think, one of the ones that chats on YouTube. Oh, you know, I, I read ah. the transcripts on Sunday. You know, I look at what people say, and I think Carol Wade is always saying nice things. And she's from North Vernon, Indiana. Right. Oh, I know who this is. This is not for me. You know right away. You have to read me. it first. All right. I will read half the letter, and then I will pass you the package. And then you can open the package as I complete the latter half of the letter. Dear Creature Future Friends, I love your show. Saturday is my favorite day of the week. It's mine as well. I love Livingston's droll sense of humor. You're wrong. He has no sense of humor. Now, I'm, I'm being completely honest with you. His sense of humor is not tipping the, the valet. That's his sense of humor. It's true, you know. Uh, Vincent's stylish quips and hair. It's actually rather luxurious today, is it not? And, of course, the lifefully mischievous Tangella encloses an adorable creature to add to her collection. She's spoiled, you know. You, you have to stop sending her things. She's getting spoiled, especially with the Octopi. Um, I love all of you and the show. I would really love to visit the Polter Manor. Maybe you could have a contest for your Creature Feature fans. Sign Carol Wade. So, you know, we've discussed this before, and what would happen, you know, if it was just visiting him or I, it would not be a problem at all. However, look at this. She will cut you. She will make you bleed. And then uh, pending lawsuits, right? Pending. We would, we would have to get some kind of magistrate to, to sign off on, on this, and it would be a bit complicated, would it not? Anyways, if we did do it, we'd invite you, Carol. Right? Right. All right. Up next, Mr. Livingston. Small package. A small from package. From Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins, Colorado. From Ron Murphy. No, I think you need glasses. Who? You. Why? Because you don't see the fine print that I can see when I wear my glasses. Is there a letter? There's no letter. All right, this is from Ron Murphy. I'm not going to read his address, but like you said, Fort Collins, Colorado. I love Colorado. You know why? Why? Because it snows there. It does not snow here. Oh, this is one. Oh, my goodness. Well, this must be for me, because it's an octopi again. Oh, this is quite lovely. This looks like a real octopi on a necklace. I'm going to hand this to you before I break it. How lovely. You know, she's going to wear that, Rob, Ron. She's going to wear it all the time. She loves octopi necklaces. Octopus. No, I'm speaking in the plural. It's Greek, octopus. Right, but that's not plural. What would you put apostrophe S behind octopus? Octopuses. There's, there's no such word as octopuses. Octopi would be Latin, which it is not. Well, I'm not Greek. I'm closer to Latin than I'm Greek. Now I've got part Italian in me. I don't know which part. Congratulations from Peter Arnold. The man's got first two, th two first names. There are a few of those. No, it? this confuses me. You know, because some people reverse them. It could be Arnold Peter. All right, we're going to go with Peter Arnold. 
Uh, congratulations, Miss Tangella. Your recipe for handyman stew has been selected as a finalist in our 2021 Bodega Stew Festival. There's no such event. I've never heard of anything like this. Brothers Festival? Yes. No. All right. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you on Thursday, November 25th at 2 p.m. Please come with Game Face on and first prize is an all expense paid trip to train town in the lovely city of some no she's been to train town and they won't let her in there anymore no she tried to steal a goat she's banned from no there. she's like pygmy goats she hides them in her purse you know it's true she's she's right you know all right what else and we have one from maine hopswell maine from ted beverage what kind of name is that? Is it like French? Must be French. All right, he goes, hey, creature features. Your guests lately have been kind of meh. Our guests have been, you know, I'm used to complaints about our films, but not about our guests. Our guests lately have been kind of meh. Why don't you bring on some more interesting guests? Like that bat boy I always see on the magazine covers at the supermarket. Is he available? Bat Boy? The Bat Boy on the supermarket tabloids. You've got to look into that. Or how about that nice lady who played Mrs. Roper on Three's Company? Well, she's dead. Right? I have no Audrey idea. Audrey something. No, she's, she's dead. Check your Google before you write these requests. Heck, even bring back that musician you had on that would throw up all over the stage. Now, that's a possibility. We can no, bring him back. Please. No, we can. No, he, he'll come back on the show. He made quite the mess last no, time. No, he's a nice man. Anything will be better than that skater girl who makes animal sculptures out of dryer lint. Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, Ted Beveridge, Hopswell, Maine. You know, Mindy, he's, he's making fun of Mindy. Yes, your you know, friend. She's an artist. She's, you know, she, she recycles. She upscales things, right? I mean, you do similar things, except using chemicals and explosives. But it's, it's similar, if not the same. Is that it? That would be it. That's it for mail. If you would like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to the address you see over here. If you'd like to send a package in the mail like a lovely octopus, like Mr. Ted sent us from Colorado, then send it to this address you see right here. We'll be back soon with Zetro, but first let's get back to The Undertaker and his pals.
One of them was probably wearing this. Well, that doesn't give you much to go on. Makes the fifth murder we've had with these vicious mutilations of the body. But it's the first time there's been something to point us in any direction. There were three of them. We know their physical proportions by their boot prints. We know that they were riding motorcycles. And we know the kind of tires that were on the cycle. You can't go around checking every tire in the city? No, but we can send a description to all the shops. Come on, Harry, now you know the procedure. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just uh, want to make sure you catch him. Well, that would help if you could tell us something. I've already told you everything. I don't know anything. Well, Ann didn't have any enemies, and she didn't hang around the motorcycle crowd. I can't really tell you much more. She only hated one guy, and that was me. And she wanted to marry me. <laughs> Crazy kid. Uh, I'm sorry, Harry. Me too. Well, if you hear of anything, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. And I don't want you trying to take things into your own hands. No, no, I won't. Uh, but you will let me know if you hear anything. Sure. Thank you. See, I want to hang around here a while and look around. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Mr. March, your friendly undertaker at your service. Go away. I, I don't need you. Oh, but you do, sir. Yes, you do. Whether you want to admit it or not, you can't do without me. Now, something has to be done. And since this poor dead girl has no relatives, and since you are, I mean, were, her employer... How do you know? <laughs> it's my business to find out these things. Well, or you might as well handle it. What's the difference? Now you're talking. I do as good a job as anyone, and I don't mind saying that my services are far, far more complete. I handle everything right from the beginning to the end. Sign here. How much? $144.98. 98 cents? Well, this is a very competitive business. <laughs> There's no price on these contracts. Well, we do that. You know, sometimes there are a few extras. They don't amount to much. <laughs> well, uh, I'll just fill in. 144.98. No ups, no extras. Mr. Glass, you are making a terrible mistake. I'd better not be. Sorry, Mr. Glass. She would have thought. You and her were just in here a few hours before. I'd sure like to get my hands on those bums. You find out anything. You let me know. Me and Doc. Doc! Mr. Glass is going to get the guys that killed this chick. 
If he needs any help, we're going to go help him, okay? Uh, Spike. Yes, sir. Do you have a donut? Doc, we got any donuts back there? They haven't been delivered yet. Begin the operation. The scalpel... ...is used to make a deliberate cut. The cut should be no longer than necessary, and yet not too short, either. The cut should not be too short. <laughs> the size and shape of the scalpels vary greatly, but regardless of the variation... ...the scalpel should always be sharp. Lock this door. You afraid somebody gonna come in here and get you? Just put him down over there. What are you reading? Surgery. Oh, you're gonna operate on people? Why not? Well, no offense, man. Say. How come you never order any meat? So much vegetables like lettuce and celery and onion and ketchup. Company charges too much. Oh, not any more than anybody else. So why order from somebody else? Spread the business around, you know. Who do you order your meat from? That's none of your business. I want you to just get out of here. I'm studying. You know, my boss will make a good price on all meat, all age. We serve fresh meat. Mm. We still have some leg of lamb. Or how about the specialty of the day? All right, give me the chicken. Uh, how would you like that order? What is this, candid camera or something? No, sir. I'll tell you what, instead of the chicken, give me a pie. A big piece or a little? The whole pie. Do you have a box? Yeah, sure. came to pay my last respects. That's very thoughtful of you, sir. You are a very thoughtful man. Cut the sarcasm. I'd like to see her, please. She's behind the drapes, but... Uh, what? Remember, sir, 
You wouldn't let me add a few little extras. With a little extra, I could have restacked it with foam rubber. Remember, sir, it was you who said, no ups, no extras. Association doesn't approve of low-priced funerals, but when the needy need help, I always try to do what I can. Gratitude. That's what this world needs, is gratitude. Hi, Vincent, Angela, and Mr. Livingston, and Andrew. This is uh, Gloria from Indiana, and I just want to let you know we love your show, all your movies. Please, please, please try to get the bad seat. It's really good. I know you'll enjoy it. We love you guys. Bye. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. So, uh, Steve, don't ask me who does my hair. Anyway, so welcome back to the show. We are watching The Undertaker and his pals with Steve Zetro Souza from Exodus. Yeah, that's a great name for a band, Exodus. Because, you know, it's like you are leaving one place and going into the metal world, right? Actually, it's the definition is a mass movement of people. It is. And when massive, you go to an Exodus concert and you look out into the crowd, there's definitely a mass movement of people. Right, but they are not leaving. No, the they're show. running into each they're other. They're not going, oh, I don't want to be here and running away. All right, no, that's a wonderful name. So uh, this film, The Undertaker and His Pals, I don't think an Undertaker who operates like that today would remain in business to you? No, nah, but it'd sure be cool, wouldn't it? No, he's so rude. He's rude to his customers and he's, he's like forcing them to buy things they do not want to purchase. Yeah, but he's got such Serious. a great yeah. attitude. Terrible. So, uh, this motorbike of yours, it's a Harley Davidson. Yes. And you've recently had it repainted. Yes. Everything. So when you repaint a motorbike like this, you do the tank and the fenders right and what else and the fairing the fairing what's yes. the fairing the fairing is like the windshield like the, oh. the thing in the front with the wind oh of you have one of wind. those all right yeah. so we're going to show some some footage of that uh, so uh this is this is Cetro's thing here and it's what what are we looking at here this is uh the wolf man yes and you had hit, you who who did all this work uh, a guy named Lee Diaz, who lives Lee in Diaz. Arizona, actually. Uh, and here's Bella Lugosi. Yes. As Count Dracula, I yep. presume. Yes. And that is, you know, he's quite a talented artist. He did yes, quite a good job really on that. Good. And then, of course, we've got, uh, this is the girl from Night, Night of the Living Dead. Dead. The little living dead girl. What was her name? I don't remember what her name You know, I, I do know it, and then I always forget it. Right, then... right. But she was the, with yes, the, with the did spade, her mother the little yeah. tool, hand mm -hmm. tool, gardening tool. And then, the, oh, the most important part, we've got Bob Wilkins. That was a nice touch. Now, how many people recognize him on your motorbike? 
it's funny because um, the old school do everybody is like right. you know, and they'll people and there'll be people that'll get so happy when they see they'll look at the tank and the fenders and see Frankenstein and all the images, and then they'll get back to the fender and go. No way, Bob Wilkins, I remember him. I used to stay up at Friday night watching, and then I'd get the story of like, yeah, like every other person that my age. And that's then, wonderful. That's and wonderful. then a, the Creature Feature logo right, under my the life. Creature, that's our logo. Bob and did not use that logo. Bob right. had, the, had the 60s style. No, years, years with the, right. with the, um, with the right. bat. With what the a bat tribute. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 this is, you cannot crash this motorcycle. It is, must go into a museum when you've decided you are through with motorbikes. I'm actually right? buying another one so that I might like not ride this one as much anymore. And so it should I'm, be in a museum under so, glass. But it, it, it did, it's, no, it, it came out really, really good. It looks right. beautiful. Right. And I'm very, and everybody that sees it loves it. And it's, it's so yeah. me because it's so horror. Right, right. And you waited quite some time to get this done. Yes. Right. Yeah, he did. So worth it. Yep. Quite worth it. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? Let's go. All right, off we go. Back to The Undertaker and his pals. Don't you go away. We're going to be closing this up soon. We're going to find out what Zetro is doing next. So don't you dare go away. Bye. glass, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I thought so. You know, my sister told me you were very handsome. I told her I was going to work for you. What kind of work do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> you tell me. I'm a typist. Oh. Well, am I hired? What's your name? Call me Friday. No, but what's your name? Friday. My sister didn't tell me you were hard of hearing. You're not one of those kooks, are you? <laughs> Silly. Do I look like I'm kooky? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you do. Well, good. Now that we have that settled, do I get the job? No, uh, why don't you go downstairs and have some dinner, and when you get back, we'll talk it all over. Well, that's a very good idea. Did you got any money, honey? <laughs> you bet. Oh, you're a doll. Mm. See you later, boss. Baby, what can I do for you? The question is, what can I do for you? You mean it? No. I just wanted to get your reaction. Uh, say, is uh, this place on Diners Club? Ha, ha. I'll have a hamburger. Don't have any. Well, I have a pain because I haven't eaten. Where's a pain? Get the patient ready for surgery while I scrub up.
I ripped her clothes off. Oh, that's good thinking. You ready? My, my, my. What's wrong with her? Who knows? I'll explore. Scalp them. didn't get rid of the fly. What is this? Deodorant. Check a respiration. Hey, okay. Nothing wrong so far. Isn't she beautiful inside? Where's the anesthetic? Everything was going so well, too. Right to the end. Pity. Well, at least my operating technique is getting better, huh? Can't win them all. What are we gonna do with her? of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. You need to stop frightening the staff with these, these things.
Don't say it. What's he doing? Where's the rest of the girl? In the back. You're a couple of dirty double-crossers. Why? You agreed that I would get half, but we did this job alone. I could have used what you wasted. Remember, we specifically agreed that I could bury Doc's mistakes. I don't know what this world is coming to. A man can hardly make a living these days. No ups, no extras. What happened to your head? He shaved with it. Oh, shut up. I'll get sore. I'm sorry. I'm a little on edge with the end of the month coming and bills to be paid. We won't let you down. Don't worry. We'll help you. Tonight? Tonight. believe me, but I've made up my mind. I'm going to quit next month. You know what I'm going to do then? <laughs> I'm going to get married again. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm a three-time loser. But this time, it's going to work. What do you think about that? Tempest? Rep. I just want to let you know that we got a lead on the murders. One of them lost his license plate. Well, who's it belong to? The undertaker from Shady Rest, uh, Mr. Mort. Ain't that something. Well, you know him? Well, our men are going to pick him up. Say, maybe you can help us. Do you know who he associates with? No, no, I don't, but I'll find out.
happened to your license plate? I lost it. Where? I don't know. Don't bother me with things like that. Now look at my neck. Oh, great. What? The cops will find your license plate, then they'll find you with a bullet hole. Our goose will be cooked. I'll have to operate. Oh, no, you don't! No! Get him up on the train! Oh, there's no time to operate anyway. Why? The cops will be around looking for him. We'll get rid of him fast. Where? <laughs> Charlie the stoolie, please. No, he ain't here. Well, would you uh, tell him that Harry Glass is calling? Oh. Hey, Charlie. Uh, listen, I need some information. Can you tell me who Mort the Undertaker hangs out with? Guy Shady Rest? Just a minute. Know those two nuts who run the greasy spoon? Yeah. They're the ones. Thanks, Charlie. You'll wake the neighbor. What a noise he made. He was a bad sport, if you ask me. Turn out the lights and let's be scarce for a while. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Uh, stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Thrown into a barrel of acid. I've seen this on TV before. And they're turning on each other. That's what's going yeah. now. You know, this happens. It's a known thing that happens with cannibals, is that soon they become unfriendly, and you don't fight one another. You eat one another. Yeah. yeah so it's a good thing we're not cannibals, right? We would be eating our enemies and that. We have cows, like you said. Cows. Cows make up for that. Make up for cannibalism. Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, you are quite, quite late. And you should probably just switch it back to whatever you're watching before because it's, it's, it's too late to, to come in. So be gone. But for the rest of you, uh, just a reminder, we are watching The Undertaker and his pals from 1966 with my friend Zetro from Exodus. And uh, we've been talking about rock and roll. We've been talking about motorcycles. But uh, we have not talked about your love for horror and horror films and the like. And uh, I know we've asked this before, but for someone who has not seen you before, how did you 
but get into all this. I mean, this problem, well, I, my mother was, um, used to watch Dark Shadows in the 60s. Right. Which was a, a, a like a, a horror-themed soap opera. Oh, we it know came, it well. Came on after General Hospital. That's where it started. And then I was six or seven, I think, when, when Creature Features started. Right. And so I was religiously every week watch it. So I can... That's where I would get, you know, Lon Chaney, and that's where I knew who these guys were, Peter right. Cushing, Christopher Lee, Boris Karloff, Bella Lugosi. So I, I reached out for that. I let anything horror, even cartoons in those days, they were horror-themed. I watched, I remember the Groovy Ghoulies. Remember the Groovy Ghoulies? I don't. Yeah, no, it was a horror-themed kind of comedy cartoon, but they were all monsters, so I watched it because oh, it was just, just kind of cool. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had, we had Thunderbirds. That was all right, though. No, I watched that at 6 o'clock in the morning if there was nothing else on. No, and the strings. Yeah. No, you you know, we we had we had marionettes with strings, and you had Land of the Lost. Yes, we did have Land of the Lost. Yeah. You had Sigmund and the Sea Monster. Love Sigmund and the Sea Monster. Yeah. Lidsville. You had Lidsville. Oh, you know, I've seen that program. I, w I would watch that as an adult. Yeah, H.R. Puff and stuff. H.R. Puff and stuff. No, legendary. Legendary. We had none of that. Although, you did pinch... Jack Wilde for Puffin Stuff from the UK. Yes, we did. No, he was he was a big star in the UK, and no, all of a sudden he's gone. He's working in the US on Puffin Stuff. Yeah, didn't he play the Artful Dodger in Oliver, he right? He did? No, that's that's that was his first big yep. breakout role. But I don't think he did much after Puffin Stuff. All right, so uh, you got into the whole uh, horror thing, and uh, Creature Features played an important role in developing this 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 taste for the macabre going back to the motorcycle is because why pay right. probably respect to everybody that's on there and i had to put bob and creature features on there because it, it was it was and is a big part of my it life it might be safe to say that some of the songs you've composed for exodus are inspired by the horror movies that were inspired by creature features I would say that that's probably definitely in a lot of, not just with Exodus, in my lyrical writing. You definitely. should you should say that to the record label so that maybe they will say to us, "Oh, you deserve some types of royalty," or a creature feature album. Oh, that'd be even better. No, forget Exodus. Do a creature feature album. Well, it'll open with a theme song for the show, and then you could do some like other parts, like you could do a song about Hendrew's injuries. Are you going to play a uh, guitar on Andrew's I Injuries? I will play guitar only for that project. For Andrew's Injuries. Only for that project, nothing else. That's a great name for That'd a song, good. Andrew's Injuries. That would be good. Okay, we got to talk about All this. Right. Work on the lyrics. All right. Let's finish up this film, eh? Great. Yeah, All right, let's do off it. we go back to The Undertaker and his pals. We'll be back on the other side of the credits for this film. Don't go away because there's more and Tangelo's coming out. Stay with us. Hours. I'm not Friday, Mr. Glass. Well, who are you then? The Queen of Sheba? I'm Thursday. Friday's my sister. We're identical twins. Where is she? Oh, why? Well, I, I don't know. I thought you did. That's why I've been following you. You know, Friday's a kook and uh, she needs a chaperone. Are you sure you don't know what's happened to her? 
Yeah, I'm afraid I do. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Well, you're going home. Oh, but I can't. Why not? Well, I uh, told my mother I was spending the night with a girlfriend, but my girlfriend's out of town. Well, uh, you can stay at my place. Well, thank you. Are you sure you're not Friday? Detective Jennings? Oh, Johnny, this is Harry Glass. I have some information for you. Sure. The Undertaker's pals are the two guys that had the cafe near my place. Not the Greasy Spoon? The evidence is inside. Where are the suspects? Well, they're out for the evening. Uh, they open up at 7 o'clock in the morning, so you can find them there then. Thanks. Friday about a strong, good-looking man, and off she goes. <laughs> you know, Harry, you can't be a playboy all your life. The girl must have hurt you, <laughs> but I won't.
Hairstyling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Out of gas. Oh, anybody but you and I wouldn't believe it. I'll be right back. Now all I need is a mat. I'm sorry, Thursday. Those goons got your sister. Why, those dirty, rotten... Oh, I could just tear them apart with my bare hands. Two of them are dead. Mort's going to get his. I'll see.
make them like Harry anymore. Well, it's finally over. I hope so. We don't need any unnecessary violence in this world. Nature makes enough of its own. Still a certain amount of evil always creeps in. And we must just strike it down. the crypt door down on the undertaker and his pals everyone goes oh you've got the peeled baby yeah she's not brought this one out in a while you've got blood on your bloody face is that Andrew's blood you know you need to wash that off you you don't know where he's been it, it could be diseased blood or if nothing else, then at least the magistrate won't see the blood on your face. Looks you know, good on you, Tangelo. You know, if you keep that up, are you, you, you're going to get me in trouble. So, I'm sure there's a magistrate somewhere watching this program. He's going to just write up an indictment. You, you're so lucky you don't have to deal with this. Anyways, uh, the film, uh, Everyone Dies. Well, I was kind of uh, hoping they weren't so we'd get an Undertaker and his pals sequel no it's true too maybe it could be the undertaker and his enemies no the cannibal be as fun as the fun yeah they could have called the next movie the fine young cannibals i think that's been taken no not not in 66 would have been fine all right so uh zetro what are you doing next what's uh, on the agenda what's on the itinerary actually if we finally get back to playing live shows so right. exodus will be in uh 
Psycho Vegas next Sunday, August 22nd. You're in Vegas next Sunday? Yeah, Lucky at a you. big festival called Psycho Vegas. Psycho Vegas. Yeah, down in the Danzig and Cannibal Corpse and Obituary. Oh a, lot of, uh, a lot of the heavies are definitely going to be there. Are you going to be rubbing elbows with some legends? Finally get to see my friends again after right. so long because right. it's been a while. And then we're in... Uh, the 9-11, f- uh, we're in uh, Illinois at a festival called Full Terror Assault. Full Terror Assault. Yes. It's, it, it's a, it's like, it sounds like something she would go to. Full Terror well, Assault. Well, you're invited. <laughs> no, she's, she's the type that would, she would, she would headline Full Terror Assault. She'd, she, she would blow up all the patrons. The entire audience would be blown up. And then there'd be no show. So you should invite her for the after party, right? She, she could they could name her. the festival. So is this like the big tour or is the big tour coming? No, we have uh, two. Those are just one-offs and then the big tour starts. Uh, Bay Strikes Back tour with Testament, Exodus, and Death Angel. And that starts October 5th in San Luis Obispo and goes 31 dates across the United States and then back. How we finish fun. in mm-hmm. Oakland on November 27th, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And this is all bands that originated from that region. Yes, it's right. all because the Bay right. Strikes Back's all Bay Area bands. Right. It's Testament, uh, Exodus, and oh, Death that's Angel. brilliant. No, that's wonderful. Are you going to be busy? Finally. We're not going to see you in this seat finally. for a while. No, finally. All right, well, if, if you got some time to make some some time for us. I always make time for you guys. You, I you love have to come here. visit us and, you know, and come like, sit in the chair and I watch another film with us. Mansion. All right, so, well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks for having me. And uh, good to we're going to have to hang out. And uh, always. In the meantime, uh, you get yourself home safe tonight. Yeah, no and, problem. Uh, all right, and as far as you guys go, thank you so much for watching our show tonight. We know you could have been doing something else fun, and uh, but at least you had got little Miss Bloody Face here to. Uh, Watch along with us, and uh, next week we're going to have a different movie, different guests, don't know who, don't know what, but it will be so much fun. We'll see you next time. We love you all. So, uh, Zetro, you know, I'm thinking of one of these uh, dates you have coming up. Maybe you could arrange for a VIP ticket. Yeah. Who's the VIP? 